Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the Ripley Fortnite skin. So let's get started. To draw this Fortnite skin, we're going to first start by drawing the head. So I'm going to come right here and basically just draw a oval. It's kind of like a speech bubble, right? A water bubble actually. So I'm just going to go around an ovalish shape. And I don't even care if it's not perfect because I don't want it to be perfect and be slightly lopsided. It doesn't matter because it is a bubble. <laughs> so then from there in this little area, I'm going to draw a little curve that comes out. And back. There. So that's the basic shape you're trying, uh, aiming to draw. And let's come in here. We're going to draw the eyes. So once again, one eye can be a slightly smaller if you like. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's what's so awesome about this skin. So, but right here I'll draw another eye, a little bit bigger. It's all up to you. You can make them the same size if you want. I figure a different size might be a little bit cuter. So I'm going to give it a little highlight and shade this part in. And same thing over here. Now that we have that in, let's come right here and bring it to life with a smile because it looks really weird, right? Okay, so once we put the smile in, so about right here, slight curve, it'll come together and add another curve at the bottom. There, now we got Ripley. <laughs> okay, so uh, um, we're gonna come to the outside of this bubble and we're gonna draw another bubble. So say about that much on both sides. And I'm just going to draw a big curve over it. So same thing over here. Let's come to the top. Uh, about right there in the center. I'm going to draw this little thing that comes out. Kind of makes it look like a chicken. <laughs> so we're going to draw two of them. So another one. Nice and round. And bring it back and connect. There. Okay, so then now let's bring this down more and we're just going to surround the head, the face, and about right there I'm going to start to flare it out for the shoulders. Nice wide shoulders for Ripley. Okay, so about right here I'll start to bring it down on both sides. And before I finish the arms, let's come back to this point right here and we're going to come straight down uh, approximately right here. I'm going to give myself two points. So this is going to be the beginning of the armpit area. So from here, I'm going to draw two angle lines down. Slight angle. So this gives me an idea of where to work with, with the arms and the chest area. Okay, so let's bring this down a little bit more. And from there, I'm going to use this point and connect a curve on both sides. So we're kind of drawing suspenders for the outfit. So let's continue this about right here. I'm going to thicken the strap on both sides. So now that we have this two in, let's come up and we're going to draw the shape. So go up on both sides and connect it with a straight line. And before I forget, <laughs> I'm going to come in this area and draw another bubble here. So a wobbly little bubble. And you can draw another one here if you like more circular and then um, now let's finish the outfit okay so let's bring this down a little bit more and about right there I'll stop and I'm going to start here with a curve so there's two pouches I need to draw on both sides so I'm going to center these two curves that come out a little bit and let's bring this down on both sides. Just round this off on both sides. Come out right here. 
with a slight angle. So we're drawing the pouch and then bring this down. Let's work on this side first. So, and then we're just going to continue. I'm going to match this top curve and about right here I'm going to angle it in. So I'm creating this shape to um, draw the pouch. So right here, um, let's start with a flap. So I'm just going to follow my outside and about, let's see here, right here, just to simplify a pouch and connect it. And then right here you can draw a simplify strap, comes down and with this edge right here, just come up and add a line. Okay, so same thing over here now. Angle. We're just simplifying these elements. And once again, same thing in this area. Draw a flap. And a strap and a curve right here where the angle is. Okay, so now in between this pouch, we're gonna draw a belt. So come right in between, draw two lines. And to draw the buckle, we're gonna come right here with a straight line. And once again, I'm simplifying this buckle. So I'm gonna come right here that shape and then in between draw another rectangle that comes out of it. I mean that touches this part right there. Okay so then from there let's come down and say about this much. I'm just gonna give myself an angle line and now I'm gonna start to draw the pants. So continuing and come down out See here, right here. And in this area, let's start to bring out two curves. I mean, two angle lines. <laughs> and we're gonna start to draw the legs. Okay, so let's work on this side first. I'm gonna bring this down. And before I go all the way down, I'm gonna come in here and draw this little pouch. So about right here, I'm gonna go up with a curve. Pop this out and bring this back in. So it's kind of like a little holster right there. And then in this area, just draw another strap. And then we can continue. Come down. Okay, so same thing on this side. So about right here, once again, let's draw that holster, come out, curve all the way down to about right here, and connect. And once again, come in here, draw a little buckle, and let's continue the leg. So come down. And we're going to bring this down a little bit more. About right there, I'll stop. And we're going to draw a curve to connect it to draw the boots. There. Okay, so now let's work on this side. I'm going to bring down boots. And about right here, I'm going to come down, curve, and this is going to come out, and curve, and let's connect it. So angle, and bring it right back. Simplify boot. <laughs> okay, so now for some details. I'm just going to draw a sole for the bottom, and right here, curve for the top. Maybe a little strap here. And a 
let's see here, the two straps in between. I'm just gonna simplify and just draw three circles. And then I'll just put some X's in here. Okay, so same thing over here. Once again, pop it out and curve. And we want to aim at the same area. This side is always harder for me. <laughs> okay, so then let's connect it. Okay, so once again, same thing. Right here. Okay, there, without spending too much time on the boots. There, okay, so then now let's finally draw the arms. We're gonna come right here where the armpits are and we're just gonna draw these thick arms. Just comes to the side. So, about right there, this area, I know I'm gonna put the hand. So, I'm gonna come about right here and just draw this little Maybe it's like a the blob drop that comes out of his <laughs> arms and connect it. I think that's what it is, right? Because he's blobby, so there's got to be some stuff hanging out. So, but right there, I'm gonna connect it and draw his gloves. And now let's draw his fists. I'm gonna curve it in, angle, angle, and connect. And then come right here and draw a little curve. And you can come in here and just draw a little curve right there for some details on his glove. So same thing on this side. So just a curve. And about right, they all stop. about right here just draw another blob and continue so about right there stop once again cut it off and draw his gloves so once again curve out in angle and connect Okay, so now finally for some details. Let's come in here, we're gonna finish off his little suspender outfit here. So right here, I'm just gonna draw a little buckle. And same thing on here. And we're gonna bring this down, continuing this all the way down towards the bottom. And connect it with a curve. And we're going to draw this little plate right here. Right there. And two angles. And connect. And once again, another line through. And then there's another design right here. finish this part so suspenders comes down and about right here you still see a part of his body this is a chance to add some color right there as well and now his pants straight line in the center 
and some straps right here for this poster. And then there's another Fortnite strap that's always on the legs, right? So same thing over here. And here. So there, hope you love how my Ripley Fortnite skin turned out and I made it easy for you to follow along. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Kit videos. See you later.